wouldn't be Mustang if we didn't start with design. So you're going to hear about this new sleeker design to give the car a more athletic look, as well as the refined materials in the inside and the additional colors and options that are going to be available for personalization for our consumers. We also have a whole host of new technologies in this Mustang, starting with an all-new 12-inch LCD instrument cluster that's going to give consumers the ability to change their views, alter the colors, and we even have a new mode called My Mode, which allow you to save those customizations in the car for each time you get in and get out. On top of that, we have a new host of driver assist features from Ford Motor Company that we'll be implementing on this Mustang, including lane departure warning to give you confidence when you're on the road, as well as Sync Connect, which will allow you to control the car with your cell phone, where you can lock, unlock, and even start your car from anywhere as long as you have your phone. On top of that, we have a bunch of new performance features for the Mustang. Starting with our, our standard engine, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, you will see an increase in torque. Our 5 liter V8 will get an increase in both horsepower and torque. Optional on those two engines, we have an all new 10 speed transmission that will be improving both your efficiency as well as your performance with smoother and faster shifting times. On top of that, we've migrated some of our technology down from our Ford Performance products into the Mustang, including the Magneride dampers, which will really aid in improving the lateral performance of this car, as well as an active valve performance exhaust that is really going to give you that signature Mustang growl when you drive down the road. So to give you more on each of these features, we're going to turn it over first to Daryl Beamer, our chief Mustang designer, to give you more on the design. Daryl? Thanks, Mark. Welcome. It's a new 2018 Mustang. Mustang has always been about great proportions and great design. For 2018, we've taken that to a new level. Uh, we really wanted to take the car and make it more athletic, make it leaner, and make it meaner. Uh, so we've lowered the front grille. We've got brand new front fascia. Uh, we've got LED headlamp and turn technology in the front of the car, augmenting this wider mouth that we have. We've lowered the hood about 20 millimeters. Uh, this does a couple of things for us. Not only does it give us a more aggressive appearance on the front end, but it also gives us a sleeker silhouette and better aerodynamics. And from a driver cockpit standpoint, you can clip your apexes even better. Uh, we've got complete new fenders on here to go with the new hood, all of which flow back into the existing car very nicely. Uh, there's 12 wheels that you can order on Mustang. We've got these beautiful black ones uh, all the way up to uh, polished aluminum. Uh, these set off this orange fury paint uh, absolutely phenomenally. This is a beautiful, beautiful color, brand new for 2018. Mustang has the characteristic fastback silhouette, which we have retained. It's got a very muscular rear haunch, which is very beautiful. When you come to the rear of the car, uh, we have tuned the spoilers to work with the new splitters on the front of the car for aerodynamic efficiency and downforce. Uh, we've completely reworked the tail lamps and the rear fascia and the rear valence on the car as well. So it still has the Mustang tri-bar tail lamps with a more technical appearance uh, with chamfers on the front and the bottom of the lamps and also the sequential turn that's such an iconic Mustang characteristic. Uh, and the lower rear valence is much more aggressive than what we've had in the past. And as you'll notice, we've got uh, dual quad tip exhausts, which not only look great, but absolutely sound the business. One of the big changes we did in the 2018 is a 12 inch cluster. So with this 12 inch cluster, we wanted to take the ability with the technology to make it easier to see and also easier to use. One of the features with it is my mode. So basically you set your modes and then a two hits of the mode switch will bring up exactly how you like to drive your Mustang. In my case, I like the track mode for the active exhaust, I love the sports setting for the throttle control, and I like normal for steering. So that gives me the ability to quickly get my car, set it, and go. 